it's finally seed starting day. I've got some work ahead of me. <laughs> Yesterday I had my husband bring up my greenhouses from the basement and all my trays and dirt and everything. Um, I had to have him bring it up because I am afraid of my basement because we found a snake down there a couple weeks ago. It's dead. It's dead. But now I'm a little scared. So I made my husband bring up all that stuff. And so now I'm going to rearrange the breakfast nook here to be able to fit my greenhouses and then get planting. Bought this at Sam's Club. <laughs> I went down last weekend to see my daughter down, down in Springfield, Illinois, and I had never been to a Sam's Club before because we don't have one around here in Southeast Iowa. The closest one is over an hour away, and so I just don't have a membership and had never been, and I went with them, and ooh, I loved it. Sam's Club is so cool. But I got this, grapes. I have not tried grapes here, I don't think. Maybe I have, I don't remember. I know I've tried blueberries and it did not turn out. So this year I'm gonna try grapes, see how it does. These poor little aloe plants look so sad. They're half dead. What do I do? If you know, let me know in the comment section below. How do you keep an aloe plant alive? Because it was doing good and then I separated it and now it's dying. So I don't know whether I need to cut off the dead leaves or what I need to do. What do I do to save them? All right, I got it all set up. It's kind of hard to see with the light, but got my two greenhouses against this wall. Usually I put them on this window, but I decided to try something new and put them on this window this year. And I put my island in here. This is what I love about having a movable island that I can rearrange things. Got my island in there, so we still have a little bit of seating, and put my table in the kitchen, kind of like old-fashioned country kitchen, you know, with the table in it. Now I deal with this pile. <laughs> I am not going to be showing you how to plant all this stuff because that's really not one of, um, of the things that I am really good at. I do it. I do it as best as I can. I've learned a few things over the years. I watch Roots and Refuge Farm and they are excellent. Jess has a plethora of knowledge so if you want to know how to plant go to Roots and Refuge Farm. They are excellent and you will learn how to plant and there's a hundred other places you can look too. Um, I like the Justin Rhodes show um, but they are good at like just all over farming and gardening and stuff so um, if you want to know how to plant go look up a good website like those. But I'm going to show you how I organize my seeds, what seeds I'm going to plant this year, what I'm going to be doing, and then I'll show you after I'm done what it looks like all in my greenhouse. And I actually might have to buy another greenhouse. I don't think I'm going to have room for everything I'm going to plant. Now, I was planning on planting, like, I even went through the how early should you plant things. Some things need to be planted like four weeks early six weeks early, eight weeks, 10 weeks, you know, how, when should I plant things? And I put it all in my calendar. And then last week I wasn't able to plant anything. Um, and in two weeks when I'm supposed to be planting again, I have things written down. I won't be able to plant and life's going to get kind of busy after that. So I'm going to plant everything I can this week. I'm just going to do it. Um, I've done that in the past and it's been okay. Uh, actually, in the past, I have planted like earlier in February, and that my tomato plants get way too big if I do that. But this is the last day in February when I'm doing this, and so I think it'll be okay even if I do. This has been a really warm winter. I cannot remember a February that's been this warm here in Southeast Iowa. Uh, we've been getting 40 degree days, 50 some days, and we've only had snow a couple times. It usually we get, you know, below zero temperatures in February, and we just have not had any of that. So I'm anticipating probably having an earlier spring 
to where I can plant earlier. So I don't think it'll be too much of a problem if I start my seeds a little early. So this is how I organize them, just in these plastic bins. And I have some dividers and I have them organized with, and here I've got um, flowers, uh, miscellaneous, some sunflower seeds and bigger seeds that I've kept from my flowers and stuff outside. Um, I've got lettuce and those type of things in that family, uh, radishes. I'm going to plant some of these. This is more for uh, sprouting and stuff and I want to start some of this at now and be able to give it to my chickens. I think they'll like that. That's what it's I think made for well and for sprouting if you want to eat the sprouts but I think my chickens will love this so I'm going to definitely plant a tray of radishes for them and I'm going to go through my flowers and plant a bunch of them I'm also going to get maybe a few lettuces I also have lufa I've got a couple more seeds here I'm going to try again I tried two two years ago yes and it was kind of a fail. I got a little loofah. It wasn't even enough to save. So I'm gonna try it again, hopefully. It's hard in Iowa because our growing season is a little shorter. And so hopefully if I start it now, maybe I'll get some. And then here I've got carrots. I won't be doing anything with them yet or corn. Those are direct so here. Um, cauliflower and cabbage. I'm gonna be going through this and getting some of that started because I wanna get a spring garden this year. Usually I don't do too well on that, but I definitely want to. I've got peas, cucumbers, beans. Those get plant directly out here in Iowa. Those do great, just direct sow. Um, squashes, watermelons. Those I'm gonna wait a little bit and might actually start some of them in the house, but do it like in April. So not for a while for those. Peppers, this is something I definitely have to plant Go through all these that I have and plant some of these today. And then my tomatoes, I won't be starting. Well, I don't know. If I have time, I'm going to start these today. Otherwise, sometime in the next week, I'm going to get those started also. So it'll be peppers for sure, loofah, radishes for my chickens, the sprouts, some cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts may be even, some lettuce because you can plant that all the time and grow it in the house even, and a bunch of flowers because I want a bunch of flowers this year. So I'm going to get started picking what I want and I'll show you exactly what I plant and then I'll show you when I'm done. <laughs> okay, here's what I decided on planting. <laughs> a lot. All right, I'm going to start a few marigolds. Some of them I'll direct so outside. That's what all these are. Some of them I've saved from years in the past. I know it's probably not smart to keep them in plastic baggies, but that's what I had at the moment. Um, zinnias, I'm going to get plant some of them. And then I got, these are new ones I got from Am I Gardener channel this year. Am I Gardener .com. They're very cheap seeds and they are really good seeds. I recommend them definitely straw flower those look pretty snapdragon status status carnations nasturtium petunia bachelor button daisies burpee sweet pea and echinacea i'm going to do all those I've got tons of different sunflowers i really have learned to love sunflowers i used to hate sunflowers like yellow the color yellow and stuff but the more I grow them in my garden I'm really loving them and I'm gonna plant a bunch of sunflower this year and I have plenty I've got some morning glory these I've learned actually I don't think I'm gonna plant any of these because they just take over and I've got some in my garden that's taking over so that comes back and outside the house here lavender I definitely want to plant this I've tried this before and it didn't work so I'm gonna try it again Lufa, as I said, I'm going to try then broccoli, cat, cauliflower, that's what that is, <laughs> cabbage, and I've got two kinds, some red and green, and Brussels sprouts. And I've done all these before, and it's done so so. But even if it's not, doesn't turn out, this is perfect chicken food. So <laughs> even if I fail, 
it's still good and edible for my chickens. Some banana peppers. Oh, up here, there's those radishes I was talking about earlier to make for my chickens. But I got the sweet banana peppers and then hot peppers. I've got pepperoncini, which I'm not sure that's hot actually. <laughs> Jalapenos, Anaheim's, cayenne and red Marconi peppers. And then I've got just yellow, red and green peppers. Tomatoes, I've got a bunch of different kinds, Dr. Witches, Witches, whatever. I've planted those before and we really enjoyed those. Those are good seeds. These are ones I kept from my plants, so I'm hoping they work because they're good. Then we got Cherokee Purple, Manitoba. Again, this is from my gardener. Good seeds. Uh, Beefsteak, Mortgage Lifter. Got some Rutgers, Homestead Tomato. This is new, I haven't planted, or the Mortgage Lifter, or the Great Crimson. Those are ones I got this year. Queen of Hearts. Um, oh, Pineapple Tomatoes, those were good. I tried them. Green Zebra were kind of fun, and so was the Cosmic Eclipse. They were fun to do. These are Climbing Triple Crop Tomatoes. I don't know, I can't remember. I'm not sure I planted those. Uh, some Romas, those are, those two really good here. They just grow good. And they're really good to just quick throw in and make salsa and stuff from. So, uh, cherry tomatoes, yellow pear, and some rosella. These are all small tomatoes. So I'm gonna get some of all of this started. In my head, it always is just take an hour or two. You know, <laughs> won't take long at all to do this. Well, I got a, the trays prepped. I got flowers planted. I'll show you them in a minute, but still have to do the cabbage and cauliflower and all that and peppers <laughs> and all these it always takes longer than what I plan it's already been three hours over three hours <laughs> I gotta take a break for lunch I got them all done everything planted all right my greenhouses are full well not down here but what I got is cauliflower although <laughs> this little tray here actually has no cauliflower in it I went to plant the cauliflower and realized I ran out of seeds. There was none in the package I had. So I have to buy cauliflower seeds. Then that one I can plant. But then I got like cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. Um, I'm not even sure. All that stuff's there. This one is tomatoes and peppers. Got them all marked. Loofah, celery, lettuce. This one is all tomatoes in there and this is tomatoes and green peppers back there and hot peppers and stuff so lots of tomatoes and peppers um now these tomatoes i will have to up pot them which usually i just plant them in the bigger pots so that i don't have to do that but this time i had plenty of these right now so i just started them in here and i'll just up pot them later at least I got them started and then this is all flowers yes I'm gonna have lots of flowers but you know what you can never have too many flowers right so I got all my plants started for now and I'll probably start some more later yeah I'm really excited about that to get that big project done today it's always such a huge project to start off with but once you get it done oh you can breathe a sigh of relief that you're growing your own plants starts and it saves so much money if I actually bought all that at the store it would cost me a fortune so it's gonna save a lot of money and I get a whole lot of produce and flowers thanks for watching today friends I hope you like this video subscribe to my channel and continue to join me in this joy-filled life thanks